Hi guys, Mr. Zegner again. We're going to be creating a monthly budget using Google Sheets. Super helpful thing. One, it teaches you how to use Google Sheets and two, boy, who couldn't use a monthly budget to help organize their finances? So you know if you've got more income than expenses and then you can, uh, then you can adjust as needed. So here we go. Let's start building this spreadsheet. All right. So now, of course, you can design yours in different ways, but this is just to give you a framework of what one budget that would work could be achieved. So I'm going to click from A1 all the way to K1. This is how I created mine. Here's a neat tool. This is the merge. It's going to merge those together and call this my monthly budget. As I look at that, hmm, you know, there's a couple of changes I want to make. So I'm going to click right up here in this top left corner. I'm going to select the, that selects the entire worksheet. Uh, I want those letters to pop, so I'm going to make them bold. I'm okay with the font, but I think I want to come to my horizontal alignment and center all of that. All right, that looks nice. And now everything I type will be centered also. So I'm going to click on A2 and B2 and also merge those together. And let's just call this income. Alrighty. While I'm here, I might make this green. I think green would be a good color for money coming in. I'm going to click and drag from A2 down to eh, where I, B15. B15 looks good. That's plenty of space. I'm going to create borders around that entire section. There we go. And it's final bottom left one in A15. I'm going to call that total income. And then I don't know if you recall from the other slide where I already had this finished. I made this green at the bottom also. thought just visually that tied it all together. Well, while we're coloring things, why don't we make our heading a slightly different color? Maybe blue. I don't think I'm going to use blue anywhere else. So that's a nice shade of blue. All right, so now we're going to redo what we just did with income. We're going to make an expense column. Uh, so first of all, I want to merge these two cells together. Call that total. Oops. Uh, I'm sorry, this is not the total column. My bad. Let's call that expenses. All right, and we're going to make that red. All righty. Now again, just like I did an in income, drag down and across create my borders, just that top left one where it says all borders. Bottom left here, we're going to call that total expenses. And drag across here, maybe make the bottom red also. I think that was the same shade of red. Yep, that looks good. Now, a quick way to make that second, remember I had a second one? A quick way to make the second one is just a copy. So I'm going to highlight that entire expense pair of columns. Right click and I can copy. You could also use Control C. You could also just click Edit and Copy. So I'll just click here. So there's three ways to copy that. Skipping another row. I'm sorry, that's a column. And coming to G and H. And then we're going to right click and paste or use Control V. Awesome. Okay, now these in between rows, I thought it'd be nice to separate the expenses and income, but I'm going to come up to the letter C here. This is a neat trick. It's right when I'm on top of the letter C, I'm going to right click, come about halfway down, and we're going to resize this column. Uh, about 30. I think 30 sounds like a good distance. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing with F. Again, I'm going to right click, resize that column. 30. Of course, you can fit this however you want. I just thought just a little bit of space, but I wanted it to look even. And then I'm going to do letter I here. And 30. Great. Okay. Now, let's see what else I had. You can see here I'm adding up all the income, all the expenses, and whatever's left over is our disposable income. Okay, so what I need now is... Uh, three rows and two columns. So here we go. So two columns and three rows. Alrighty. I'm going to put the borders on that right away. There we go. And so this is my total income. 
Below that was my total expenses. And this is my uh, disposable income. I believe I might have abbreviated those. Oh, INC and EXP. Yeah, sure, that sounds good. So I click on that title again. I can come up to the edit bar up here and just call that ink income. Do the same thing for expenses. Click there, just backspace a little bit. And expenses. Did I do DISP INC? Ah, I wrote the whole thing out. Oh, well, that, that's good enough. All right, so we highlight that. Income was green. Uh, was that the shade of green I used? Yep, that looks good. I want these two to match. Expenses, let's see if we can find that shade of red again. Right, good. And then what did I use for disposable income? I might have used blue. Yes, I did. So, oof, I want to use that shade of blue. So which one is that one? That's that one. Okay, let me try to find that one again. Uh, was it that one? That might not be quite the same. Let's uh, go up one. That's pretty close. All righty. <clears throat> now, uh, this is feeling a little narrow in here. So let's see if we could... Um, Let's see if we could resize this a little bit. So I'm just going to drag this out a little bit. So you see, if you put your cursor in between two cells, like here between J and K, you can actually spread those out. You know, I did fixed widths for those three. And it looks like my words down here, that's pretty close to filling that up. So let me right click on that and resize. Oh, it's currently 100. Well, yeah, that's a nice amount. And that, that doesn't look like it's over, uh, it's not overly filling up this box. I guess that's okay. All right, so now we need some formulas. So as we put our income in here, we would want this cell to add it up, all right? So that, that formula is equals sum, S-U-M, open parentheses. And here's a neat trick. You can just click on the first amount here in B3 and drag all the way down to B14. Then I'm going to close those parentheses. Currently, there's nothing there, right? But if I see how it says zero, but if I were to put a number in any one of these cells, like, I don't know, um, maybe my, uh, my rent payment is, uh, I don't know, um, $1,100. And see, it's starting to add those up. Maybe my, uh, let's see, uh, my electric bill. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, this is the income. My bad. Okay, let's see my uh, paycheck. There we go. My paycheck is, let's say it's, uh, let's say it's two thousand dollars. Sounds like a nice amount. Um, and see, there we go. So there's our income of two thousand dollars. So now we need to start building our expense formulas. So it's the same thing though. We just wanted to add it up. So equals sum. Opening parentheses. And now we just click on the first one and drag down. So that was from E2. I'm sorry, that's E3. My bad. E3 down to E14. Okay, there we go. Close those parentheses. Press enter. Now I could say, hey, my electric bill was, uh, I don't know, um, $125. See, now it's starting to add up. Down here, as I put those numbers in, let's say um, my car insurance, was, that payment was $150. See, there it goes. It keeps adding those up. All righty. Now, same thing here. All right, so we need to go again, equals sum, opening parentheses. Click on the first cell in this column, which is H3 all the way down to H14, close those parentheses. And again, it says zero right now, but we could put some of our other expenses over here. So what other expenses might we have? Gasoline for our car to get to where we need to go. Maybe we spent um, uh, $90 on gasoline, maybe more, maybe less. I'm just making up example numbers. So there's $90, all right? Okay, we're almost there. So now what we need to do is bring this total income number over here. 
because I want to start doing the subtraction problem to see how much money we have left over. So we just, this is pretty easy, just equals. And I want it to equal this number right here after everything's added up. So I'm just going to click on that and it's B15 and press enter. Total expenses, I want that to equal, well, I want it to equal this cell right here, the first column of expenses, plus, so I do my plus sign, I also wanted to add this number, the sum of all of these expenses. So I want to add up all those expenses. And there you can see these two expenses plus this one add up to 365. That's interesting. That's the number of days in a year. And feel free to pause and just add those three numbers up, and you'll see that it took the 275 and added the 90. Finally, to get our disposable income, how much money do I have left over after I've paid all my bills? Well, that would equal this number, our income, minus this number, our expenses. And then I can press enter. All right, now what's great about this is looks like I have $1,635 left over. But, you know, that's we have not even come close to entering all our expenses yet. Maybe I have a a second job and in my in my second job I got a you know I only worked there part time and maybe I made another uh, maybe you know two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Now, not only did it add it here, but you notice it changed the total income up here. So it's constantly adjusting and it did the new subtraction problem. And now I have 1,885 left over, but gosh, what expenses haven't I put in? Well, I haven't put in maybe my rent or my mortgage if I'm buying a house. So let's do rent. Let's say our rent is, um, I don't know, making up numbers here, uh, 1,200. And there you go. You can see that now it's added all these numbers up. Now my 2,250 of income minus the 1,565 of expenses leaves me $685 left over. Gosh, what else can we put in here? Now you might want to organ. You have so much space here. You can organize these by type. Maybe you can have all your car expenses here, um, and uh, maybe housing expenses over here. You, you could really pick and choose where you want to put things, but. Uh, let's say our cell phone bill, our cell phone bill every month is, um, let's say it's $138, really weird amount. And then not only watch this number change, but also watch how all like these numbers adjust. Let's see when I press enter on that. Oh yeah. Now my expenses add up to 1,703 with 547 left over. All right. Well, there you go. We've got a formula adding up our income. Uh, two formulas adding up our expenses. And then over here, the final analysis of those numbers, it takes our income, subtracts all of our expenses, leaving us how much money's left over. And that's a really powerful thing to know because God forbid your expenses are more than your income. You know, you really have to adjust these expenses and really cut back on eating out uh, or, um, you know, lower how much you're giving to some charity or, uh, maybe you need to come over here and you need to increase how much, how many hours you're getting at your second job. Uh, so there you go. Here's a nice little budget. And then, of course, you probably want to name this your monthly budget. And that would finish it. Okay. Hoping this video was helpful for my students who are doing this assignment. Just get to this point and maybe put in a couple of example, just made up numbers of income and expenses to show me how your formulas work and try to leave yourself a little bit of positive money left over at the very end. Okay. Thank you very much. Hope this video was helpful for you. Bye-bye now.